All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this video right now, it is seven days away. We have one week until the ultimate and deluxe edition, and then three more days after that until the standard baby. Leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new. We have a unique look at our characters. Let's try characters with unique looks and distinctions in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. The game faithfully reproduces some features of series, whether it's an accessory, ability, or cosmetic that may or may not affect the character's gameplay. With that being said, everybody, the whole premise of this video is giving the look of what characters have what and how those accessories can be used in battle, all right? Whether they do ultimate damage or better damage is up to when we play the game, but let's get on into it. So we have Sword. You can enjoy multiple ways in fighting styles in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, as sword fighting is one of them. Iconic swordsmen from the series will use their sword in a lot of combos, rush and blast to faithfully recreate their famous moves. There are also characters who use a sword to launch energy blasts that pierce through guards with a smash energy blast. So with that being said, again, characters, of course, Trunks is on the face of this, characters with swords are typically gonna have combos that can break through, literally pierce through guards. So your accessories actually do matter with the type of character you're using. So I imagine characters like Tapion, Trunks, all those guys, the ones with the swords, or any type of scythe. I imagine even characters like Rose Goku Black, who might be very cracked with that scythe and blade. Let's see how that works. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna be using more sword type characters. Moving on to Super Aura. Some characters such as Strongest Form in Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero have their aura being always on. Their power is overflowing, which results in stunning visual expression of their key. So I know in the game, I feel like we can customize our aura, but I think we can uh, typically customize our aura and they're gonna let us like change our aura and give us uh, vi again visual expression. So let me know what you guys, or if you guys are excited about that in the comments. The Scouter. The Scouter is an iconic item from Dragon Ball series. In the game, you can select characters, mostly from Freezer Force and equip them the scouter as an accessory, which will grant a boost of search radius when equipped depending on quality of scouter equipped. So this actually is pretty, pretty good. I think, again, these accessories are not just gonna be accessories you wear on your character. These are gonna be accessories that actually enhance the gameplay and actually help you in battle. With this precious accessory, the players will be able to avoid losing track of their opponent for too long. Note that damage taken during the battle could result in destruction of the scouter. When the scouter is destroyed, it becomes difficult to locate the enemy if they are lost from sight. So it looks like the characters like Bardock and Early Saiyan and Nappa, the ones that had scouters on, they're gonna have a lot of trouble sighting you or locating where you are if they don't have it on. Again, that is really intricate and cool. Again, playing into the actual anime where like when that happened, when these when these Saiyans would lose, this, lose their scouter, scouters, all of a sudden they don't know how to sense energy and stuff like that. So it's like, it's gonna hinder you if you lose your scouter. So you better keep that on. Let me know in the comments if you think this is a good addition to the game. Ground characters. Like in a Dragon Ball series, some characters cannot fly once they jump they will slowly fall back to the ground as they cannot remain in the air for a long time compared to flying characters. On the other hand, they are the only ones that are able to run on the ground. So take advantage of their skills and try to get the fight to take place on the ground. So characters like this are really gonna be crucial, like Mr. Satan and Master Roshi and all of them. They're gonna be very crucial for groundwork play. And I wonder if there's any like buffs on the ground that they get, because like they said, they, they said they're the only ones that can go on the ground, meaning that the other characters kind of float. So we're gonna see how well some crack players use these ground characters. Let me know if you're gonna be using a ground character in the comments. And ladies and gentlemen, that was it for the unique look. Make sure you guys leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and we'll get on some more Sparky Zero content, baby. You got seven days, let's get it.